Hey guys, today we're unboxing and reviewing the NextPeak NX501. This is a check engine scanner, which you can use it to remove your check engine light or check any engine codes that you have on your dashboard. So if that little check engine light turns on, you could use this to check check to see what it is and diagnose your car. So before you, before you take it to your mechanic, you'll know what's wrong with it. And you could potentially save some money if it's if it's an easy fix, you can fix it yourself. So I highly recommend that everyone has one of these. Um, a long time ago, these used to cost over a hundred dollars, maybe 120, 140. But during the last few years, we've been getting some influx of Chinese um, scanners like this one. And the price has really, really dropped. So there's no, there's no reason why you should, you shouldn't have one. Now this one is one of those Chinese ones that I've been talking about. And as you can see, made in China. But they, they have been really good. Now there are many brands out there, and they're most, they're mostly all good. Now let's check them out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Comes with a carrying case. Nice. And I paid um, $40 for this one. So only $40 and it comes with a really nice case. That's pretty good. Now let's open it up. Ooh, what's this? Look at this. It comes all organized and everything. Ooh, this looks like really good quality. And for only $40? Wow. Looks pretty good. Got the cables. A USB cable. For updating the firmware, user's manual, pretty cool. Now, I happen to have a car with a check engine light, so we're gonna go check and see what it is. Now, we're gonna connect this scan tool with this connection right here, and we're gonna connect it to that connection right there, which is this one. On most cars, you're gonna have somewhere underneath the driver either here or somewhere here or there so just look for it and you'll find it now it should look just like this and just connect it as you can see it has only one one way it goes in and give it a go now I want to connect it now as soon as I connected it the scan tool turned on and this is what we get on the screen now, in order to diagnose the code, we have to make sure that we put the key in and we turn it to the run position, like this. So all the lights are on and we get the service engine soon, which is the same as the check engine line, it's the same thing. Except for puts that on, the service engine. Now, we're gonna go with diagnose uh, codes and it's processing. We're gonna go to read codes. Okay. Now this is gonna tell us what's wrong with the car. I already have an idea. And apparently it's manufacturer specific. Yep. This code is manufacturer specific, so I'll have to go back. Yep, 
and now that I read the codes as you can see I erased them so there's no more codes on the car so the check engine light that was right there turned off and this thing is a little bit confusing to use at first but once you get it I mean it works very easily now as you can see we have read codes that's if, if you have a check engine light you can see what it is you're gonna erase the codes plus you can see um, the oxygen sensor plus you can see a whole bunch of status sensors to see if they're working but so far it's it's a pretty good device I definitely recommend it alright guys thanks for watching and till next time